The Economic Commission of West African State's Court of Justice is due to rule on a complaint filed by the lawyers of Mohamed Bazoum over his ouster in a July coup. The court's decision is expected on Thursday, November 30th on the complaint, which focuses on allegations of sequestration and arbitrary detention. On November 1st, the public prosecutor confirmed that President Mohamed Bazoum had attempted to escape on October 18th but gave no further details. The ECOWAS Court of Justice has recently been considering Niger's complaint against the regional organization for the imposition of sanctions in the aftermath of the coup. In response to the coup, the Economic Community of West African States on July 30th closed borders between Niger and ECOWAS member states, suspended commercial and financial transactions in Niger, and threatened military actions if the ruling regime did not release President Mohamed Bazoum and return him to power. On August 10th, ECOWAS imposed sanctions, including travel bans and asset freezes, on the coup leaders and on the country more generally. On August 22nd, the African Union suspended Niger from its organs, institutions and actions, but expressed a reverse position on the possible West African military intervention, calling for the peaceful approach for the return to constitutional order. According to Niger's government's lawyers, these sanctions have largely affected all sectors of Niger's society. The government asked the court to temporarily leave the sanctions pending a final ruling, but ECOWAS opposed the request. Since independence in 1960, Mohamed Bazoum is the fifth Nigerian president to be overthrown in a coup. The first president, Hamani Diori, was overthrown in 1974 and secretly in prison and placed under house arrest before being released in 1987.